coming up. But sometimes it's a bit less, and we've got a bit of hate on the channel, guys. I don't know if it's that troll from before because they made an account called South Oz Pleb and put my face in the. And another account they made was Joe Mama. And I was like, what, Joe Mama? And then I realized, oh, yeah, Yo Mama, Joe Mama. And I was thinking, how would you like it, Joe? How would you like it if it was Joe Mama? You know? And I saw this metal thing that was just sitting on the ground, and it was it happened to be a sign. But I just thought, I'll just run over this thing. It was just like laying on the ground in the middle of like a dirt patch. And it just made such a loud sound, like it was like an explosion. And I was like, whoa, like this EUC just tore that thing up, you know, like. It makes you feel like you're playing a video game with cheats on. And that's exactly how it feels, you know? And when I go back to comparing it to a bike, a bike is like, it's just this tame little thing, you know? Even though it's bigger, it's just such a tame, delicate thing, you know? It's just like this bunch of thin pipes with some spokes. And it made that same noise. And so I was just on a ride the other day and well actually let's go back a bit further when I was riding along and then I pulled into like I think it was a cemetery oddly enough and this like ute I think you guys like in the US you call them um, pickup trucks or whatever and they followed me into the cemetery and then they were like heaps curious about the EUC and one thing they said to me was well the first thing they said was that thing is hectic you know, they were like, oh, that's awesome, you know, but the way they said it was, that's hectic. And I was like, yeah, it is, isn't it? Like, it looks hectic. The way it handles is hectic. It's just like, it's savage. You know, it can decelerate so rapidly and accelerate so rapidly and corner so hard, almost as hard as a motorbike, but harder once you get to the low speeds, because then you can just spin on a dime, like no motorbike can do that. And the thing is hectic, you know? I said it to one of my subscribers that left a comment and I said, it makes you feel like... But then I, I ran over it again as a car was driving by and like the car was a bit like, it was like 50 meters away almost, you know, like... And then I went and hit that metal thing again and it made that same noise and... What the hell? Like they thought it was a car accident. And then they looked and they just saw this guy standing on a toy, you know, it was like... I reckon it blew their minds, but I think they called the cops, guys. I'm just going this way. It wasn't like I ran away, do you know what I mean? They didn't get a chance to, like, signal to me that they are trying to stop me or anything, you know? It was just, like, a spur-of-the-moment decision and I was out of there. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I didn't take footage of the cops because I was leaving and then, you know, I didn't have my camera out. And I only had a second to, like, get out of there, so. But, and I look back and there's cops pretty far back, though, at the point, at, you know, when I look back, it was like, they still had a little bit of time to get to me. The cops were, like, there, but I had enough time to make a decision, you know? Like, I look back and I was like, all right, I could just keep riding and just wait for these cops to, like, get to me. And just see what they do. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to the next episode. And I'm going to start off just by talking about some stuff that's been going on with YouTube. It's kind of broken. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I keep getting these comments that I can't reply to. And I'm sorry, guys. Anyone that has this happen to them, like, you put a comment down and then it doesn't appear in the video for some reason. Like, it's on my notification bell. I click on it and then it's not there. So there's no way to reply to it. And... Just recently, we had a comment from Tokel Algevind, and it never got through. I couldn't reply. So I'm sorry, Tokel. And it sucks that I can't reply. Also, me, you see, on my EUC has left several comments that never got through. None of them. And that sucks as well, because there were some great comments, some great feedback, and I really appreciate it. And let's just move on to some quick shout-outs. 
Zabechi and Marwan. I haven't heard from you guys in a while, so leave a comment, guys, and let me know what's going on. Just to know that you're still around and everything's all right, you know, with everything that's going on at the moment. Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up! Also, Robbie Crash, he hasn't left a comment in a while and he was a big supporter of the channel. So, Robbie, let me know what's going on, man. I hope you haven't crashed. And go check out his awesome travel vlogs. And Shiro Bread, what's going on, Shiro? Echo, what's going on, Echo5? He's been a huge supporter of the channel. Hammy Hamster as well. Michael Azato. And Andy Hahn and Broken Tail are two new subscribers that have been excellent supporters of the channel. What's going on, guys? Oh, and by the way, Broken Tail is getting a Sherman, so that's going to be awesome. I'll be looking forward to hearing about that. I really appreciate you guys leaving comments, and I've enjoyed the interactions I've had. I've been learning a bit about some new riders and the wheels they're getting. It's awesome, guys. So, yeah, I appreciate it so much. And Gareth5000, I can't forget Gareth, he's a new subscriber and he's getting a new wheel, or he's getting his first wheel on Monday, an M103. So we're looking forward to that guys. And it's funny because I'm gonna, well I've been thinking of getting an M103 myself as my third wheel. And I want to give a shout out to EUC Chronicles for dropping by the channel a fair bit. Go check out his channel, he's got an excellent channel. I always watch his videos. Sensei Vegan as well, that's another channel that I watch and he's been dropping by a fair bit. And check out EUC Vibes. He's got another excellent channel on EUCs that I, I've been subscribed to for ages and I watch every video. So go check out those guys. And also check out Venus Lopez. That's another big supporter of the channel and she has her own channel on nature and wildlife. And it's crazy guys, over there she gets like 50% likes. So every second view gets a like. It's, I've never seen that. On this channel, we get about 10%, so one out of 10, which is not bad. But sometimes it's a bit less, and we've got a bit of hate on the channel, guys. I don't know if it's that troll from before, because some of you guys would have seen my earlier video where I actually contacted the police because someone had gathered all my personal details and made some threats and stuff saying, you know, I better watch my back. They know where I live. But they made several accounts and they started disliking all my videos. And they made like funny comments and stuff with all these different accounts. Like one of them was G Banger. Another one was South Oz Pleb, which is where I live in South Australia. They made an account called South Oz Pleb and put my face in the thumbnail. And another account they made was Joe Mama. And I was like, what, Joe Mama? And then I realized, oh, yeah, yo Mama, Joe Mama. And I was thinking, how would you like it, Joe? How would you like it if it was Joe Mama? You know? And so, yeah, if you can, hit that thumbs up just to make up for Joe Mama. Because Joe Mama seems to be having a bit of an effect on the channel. Who knows, though, guys? Maybe they're helping it grow. If they've made all these accounts and they're watching my videos with them, perhaps that's helping the channel. So who knows? Either way, Joe Mama's welcome on the channel. And I wouldn't mind seeing Joe Mama leave another comment, to be honest. So let's get on with this video. Oh, and guys, before I forget, I've got to give a shout out to v for v What's going on, v for v Oh, and finally, finally, guys, last one. I want to give a big shout out to Inflicted Media for the clip I borrowed with the fire blanket. Some of the best footage I've seen. And go check out their channel. Alright, now let's get on with the video. Alright guys, let's start this video. And I'm really excited to be making these videos, you know. Each time I make one, it gets more like, I'm more enthusiastic about it. And I just can't wait to get onto it. 
And what made this, like, what inspired me to make this one, I'll just let you know, it's not going to be like a super long video either. That's coming up soon. I promised you that. But I got inspired to make this video because I was just on a ride the other day. And, well, actually, let's go back a bit further. When I was riding along and then I pulled into, like, I think it was a cemetery, oddly enough. And this, like, Ute, well, that's what we call them in Australia. I think you guys, like in the US, you call them um, pickup trucks or whatever. And they followed me into the cemetery. And then they were like heaps curious about the EUC. They were like kind of young, tradey kind of guys, you know, working in construction or whatever. And one thing they said to me was, well, the first thing they said was, that thing is hectic. They were like really like in a good mood you know they were like oh that's awesome you know but the way they said it was that's hectic and i was like yeah it is isn't it like it looks hectic the way it handles is hectic it's just like it's savage you know it can decelerate so rapidly and accelerate so rapidly and corner so hard almost as hard as a motorbike but harder once you get to the low speeds because then you can just spin on a dime like no motorbike can do that and the thing is hectic, you know? I said it to one of my subscribers that left a comment and I said, it makes you feel like you're playing a video game with cheats on. And that's exactly how it feels, you know? And when I go back to comparing it to a bike, a bike is like, it's just this tame little thing, you know? Even though it's bigger. It's just such a tame, delicate thing, you know, it's just like this bunch of thin pipes with some spokes and some thin tires, you know, it's so fragile. And <clears throat> I was going over this, um, I was riding through this area near some bicycle velodrome place, like where they race around in circles on those, you know, those fast push bikes. And I was just in that area, not in there, I didn't go into the velodrome, but I was around it, you know, like outside. I'll show you some, I'll take some video of it. And... I, um... And I saw this metal thing that was just sitting on the ground, and it was, it happened to be a sign. But I just thought, I'll just run over this thing. It was just like laying on the ground in the middle of like a dirt patch. And it just made such a loud sound. Like it was like an explosion. And I was like, whoa, like this EUC just tore that thing up, you know, like. It just sounded crazy. The sound was more like the most impressive thing about it. It's so but then I, I ran over it again as a car was driving by and like the car was a bit like it was like 50 meters away almost you know like and then I went and hit that metal thing again and it made that same noise and it was, what the hell like they thought it was a car accident and then they looked and they just saw this guy standing on a toy you know it was like I reckon it blew their minds but I think they called the cops guys Was when I was riding out of this area, it's like this huge area, you know, there's like all these little like side road type, they're like roads, you know, but they're like, they're public roads, but they're sort of part of this um, establishment, you know, it's the velodrome, it's where like, it's this huge, you know, arena where they race bikes and there's just all these winding roads around there, you know, so I was going out of this area and I looked back and there's cops Pretty far back though, at the point, uh, you know, when I looked back, it was like, they still had a little bit of time to get to me. And so there's an airplane going overhead, guys. Let's see if you can hear this in the video. But anyway, I look back and I had a bit of time still, you know, the cops were like there, but I had enough time to make a decision, you know, like I look back and I was like, all right, I could just keep riding and just wait for these cops to like get to me. And just see what they do. Most likely they don't do anything, you know. But I, I said, nah, screw that. And as soon as I saw them, I started swerving left and right, you know, just pretending I'm carving. So then in their minds, I'm just playing, you know, on the road, you know, just a guy swerving around. And then on the third swerve, I swerved so hard, straight off the road onto this dirt 
patch through some trees at like top speed you know it was just gnarly and these cops must have i didn't even look back though and then i just kept going and going and then i finally looked back and there was just no way they could have i mean there's nothing they could have done you know if they wanted to get to me they couldn't have there was no access there was no way and there was no evasion either because I just started, you know, as soon as I saw them, I just started, you know, I just said, nah, I'm just going this way. It wasn't like I ran away. Do you know what I mean? They didn't get a chance to, like, signal to me that they are trying to stop me or anything, you know? It was just, like, a spur-of-the-moment decision and I was out of there. You know, but, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I didn't take footage of the cops because... I was leaving and then, you know, I didn't have my camera out and I only had a second to, like, get out of there, so... But I took footage of the metal thing that I was talking about and the metal thing I'm talking about is just the thing I ran over, obviously, that made all the noise. And this is going to be the end of the episode and if you're wondering why you're seeing cops right now, this is not related to what happened back there. This is, like, something... When I was... This is just around the corner from where I buy those custard apples and... I was on my way in on my EUC and I saw cops everywhere. So I like got off and started walking. And apparently someone tried to commit suicide just up on that building right there. And they didn't jump, fortunately. Their family came and talked them out of it. And they had to shut down all the businesses for like half the day. And now it's all back to normal. So yeah, that's um, some interesting footage here. And the cops were, like, not interested at all in the EUC, obviously. You know, they had better things to do. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching till the end. And, guys, if you're still watching at this point, please leave a comment. You know, if you watch this whole video, you may as well just drop something, even just a, an emoji, you know, just to show me that you are here. Otherwise, it's just a number and I have no idea. So, come on, guys, leave a comment. And I enjoy the interactions, like I said. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.